hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so in today's video i'm running i'm like i'm rushing because i'm running late but in today's video i'm going to get my master tab botox done if you don't follow me on tiktok you might not know but four months ago i got my first dose of master tab botox and i feel like my jaws are expanding again so i'm going to be getting my second dose today waiting for my uber um he's running late and i'm just going to do a bit of makeup on myself just so i look nice and presentable <laughs> by Tara Hi. Clinic and we're doing my Botox today. Yes, Master Star Joe Slimman. Yes. Trying to get Chelsea snatch for Christmas. Snatch. You can see me from the mirror. <laughs> and this is Nurse Hello. Ami. <laughs> so, so shy. <laughs> no, don't be shy. Don't be shy. So, okay. she also got her master's done so, nice. and the results are looking amazing. Thank you. My face is so slim. I love it. Yeah. Best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> because you wouldn't understand how you used to live yeah. without... I can't me. believe When I see my old pictures, I'm like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll... I could put your results and my results yeah. side by side. So okay, see. cool. Yeah. All right. All right, then. So we're trying to decide if I should get uh, 100, 150-50 uh, or 30-30 units. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want 100 so that I, so I can be snatched for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I can give her 50 units. 50 units? <laughs> Yay, I want. So I do 50-50. And do you know why I want to do 15 units? Because worst case scenario, even if it's too snatched, after a few months, it will just yeah, bulk right, back yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. consistently like november yeah but before then i feel like i wasn't noticing any jaw clenching but when i started exercising and my metabolism started increasing i started noticing like small small yeah. jaw clenching yeah. so i feel like if i didn't exercise like i wasn't the type to exercise i feel like it probably it would last longer we're yeah. yeah. done so we got i got 50 units on each side it was a bit uncomfortable but that's because i'm just scared of needles like any kind of needle whether it's painful or not so we got 50 i got 15 units on each side one here one here 
I'll show you guys my results in four weeks. Yes, that's when I see the maximum. But I will also put results from my last session on the screen so you can see that. So I was wondering if you guys had any questions, you can just put it in the comments and I will ask Nurse Tara and I'll reply in the comments. So if you have any questions about Botox, just comment it down below. Yeah, but this is the next day after my Botox appointment. It's been 24 hours since my last Botox appointment. So I just wanted to answer a few questions because I did post a TikTok about this. So if you're not following me on TikTok, you can check it out. At sugar international and i got some questions so i thought i would make like a video to answer most of the questions that you guys had so in terms of aftercare from yesterday to today all i have to do is not rub this area um i, I can't exercise for 24 hours i can't go to the sauna or places that are really really hot like the beach um, i can't go there i also try not to eat um, any stuff that is too hard in those first 24 hours second thing um is that you see the maximum results after four weeks so i do notice a bit of a change from yesterday to today but the maximum changes i'm going to see is going to be in four weeks third question i got a lot is how long does it last so botox lasts anywhere between five to seven months or four to seven months so if you're the type that you know you have a fast metabolism or you just picked up exercising or you exercise regularly then you have a faster metabolism so you might have to get yours done um, every four months or if you just genetically have a fast metabolism right you have to get yours done um every four months but if you have a slower metabolism you can stretch yours to seven months another question i got is like are there any side effects to botox so no there are no side effects to botox in like it's not it's not like um how would i put it there are not life threatening side effects i'll give you an example so when i first got it done like five months ago after the maximum effect kicked in i found out that i wasn't able to bite down really hard on things so like let's say i wanted to open maybe a biscuit with my just as an example a wrapper with my teeth for example like i can't i can't these teeth here they can't really come together they're like they're like this they're not really clenching so you can't really use your teeth to open like really difficult stuff you can't chew really difficult meat like your mouth will get really sore or really tired you can't chew like really hard things so for me those are the only cons well they're not really cons it's just that i couldn't use my teeth irresponsibly like i used to before i mean technically i'm not supposed to be using my teeth for any of those things but I couldn't use my teeth as irresponsibly as I used to before because the ones at the back just were not clenching. Another thing I noticed is that I had a bit of Botox leakage in that I didn't really like how my how my smile was looking. Like my smile is fine now, but after the maximum effect kicks in kicks in uh, kicked in previously, I noticed that I wasn't able to smile as widely. People didn't notice, but for someone like me who's like used to grinning ear to ear, I noticed a bit of a difference. But after like a month, that that went away. So I think it's called Botox leakage. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below, you know, the kind of procedures you'd like to get or the kind of videos you'd like me to produce in the future because i'm aware that a lot of people come to my channel for like uh, because of my acolytes video but i can't be doing stuff to myself all the time do you understand so that can't be the only kind of content i put out here because it's dangerous to use yourself as a lab rat all the time especially if it's not especially if it's not a procedure that you really want to undertake but anyways um that's just me ranting thank you guys so much for watching and if you've not subscribed please subscribe i'll be happy to have you and i will see you in my next video